Hi there, and welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology show for the not-so-geeky. My name is Ben Friedman, and last week, Apple had another one of its big press conferences in San Francisco, and we were there watching it on the internet live as it happened with all the other people who weren't invited. But that's okay. That's okay. We're still small potatoes in the media realm, but uh, we wanted to bring to you a little show about uh, what's new with the iPod and iTunes and the iPhone and some of the other uh, interesting products that were uh, talked about last week. So let's get started. Uh, easiest thing first is probably the iPod Shuffle. Not much new there. The iPod Shuffle uh, still $79. The new thing is it's available in some new colors, which I really don't like. But... That's okay. Some people will like them. They're kind of pastel-y, I think, uh, kind of a little less saturated than some of the other colors. Maybe you'll like them, maybe you don't, but uh, you can go to Apple's website, take a look at them there, and see if you like those colors. Next up was the new iPod Nanos, uh, which have been affectionately uh, termed the Fat Boy Nano on a lot of rumor websites. Uh, the new Nano is now shorter and wider, and it kind of looks stubby, uh, and they did that so that they could actually put a bigger display on the Nano that will actually play video. So the Apple Nano, the iPod Nano will now play videos just pretty much like the way the old iPod Video uh, did. And it uh, looks pretty good. It's got a new interface. It has cover flow on it. doesn't work quite as nicely as the iPhone uh, cover flow, but uh, it is a nice new interface. It's also available in a few different colors. Uh, it's uh, 149 for the white 4 gigabyte model, but if you want a colored one, you've got to go to the 8 gigabyte model, which is 199 So that's the new iPod Nano that now plays video as well. Um, now, the old iPod that you are, were used to, the old uh, iPod video, is now called the iPod Classic. Very similar form function, uh, although it's sort of an all-metal design now, but it looks very similar to the old uh, 5 generation. It's, it's the new iPod Classic, but it now starts at 80 gigabytes. That's the smallest model you can get at $249. And if you want to splurge for $349, you can get the massive 160 gigabyte uh, iPod. It's called the iPod Classic. And it looks very much like the old one. It has the new user interface, same as the iPod Nano. Plays back video, video uh, games. It'll, uh, you know, store your contacts just like the old ones uh, will. But you now have this massive amount of storage space now in the new iPod Classic. Only available in black and white. And again, available in 80 gigabyte or 160 gigabyte models. Then there's the new iPod Touch, which is basically an iPhone without the phone capabilities. It's an iPod, um, and it looks very similar. It has the same touch screen as the iPhone. So, you know, you can use your finger to drag backwards and forwards. You can go through photos, although it doesn't have a camera. It does have Wi-Fi. So you can use the Safari browser that's built in when you're near a Wi-Fi connection to surf the net. It doesn't have the phone part built in, so you can't use AT&T's uh, Edge network to surf while you're out of range of a Wi-Fi network. But if you're in range of a Wi-Fi network at home or at work or in some coffee shop somewhere, you can log on and surf the web just like you would with the iPhone. It's a little thinner than the iPhone, and it's available in 8 gigabyte and 16 gigabyte uh, versions. That runs $299 and $399. That's for the new iPod Touch, as it's called. Now, with this iPod Touch, they now have an iTunes version that it's available over Wi-Fi. So although the iPod Touch will not sync to your computer via Wi-Fi, you still have to plug it in with a USB cable for that, uh, you can now get to the iTunes Music Store and preview and purchase music directly from your iPhone, excuse me, your iPod Touch, as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the other thing they announced uh, with the upgrade to iTunes was ringtone support. So, um, but it's not full ringtone support. Uh, there are software packages out there now on the internet, not made by Apple, that for $15 will convert any MP3 song or MP3 file into a ringtone. But the way Apple has gone about it is uh, certain songs, and it's not clear, it doesn't seem to be all songs, just certain songs that you have purchased from iTunes will have the ability to be turned into a ringtone, but each one will cost you 99 cents. And that is in addition, in addition to the 99 cents that you already paid when you purchased the song. So 
A, you have to purchase the song. B, it has to be one of the songs that Apple will be supporting to turn into a ringtone. And C, you then have to pay a further 99 cents to uh, activate it as a ringtone for your iPhone. Uh, two more little things. One, Apple has announced a partnership with Starbucks such that you can... When you go to a Starbucks with your iPhone uh, or your iPod with Wi-Fi, you'll be able to pull up what song is playing over the stereo right now at Starbucks and hit a button and buy that song. Um, that's all you'll be able to do. It's not free web surfing or anything like that. I guess if you want to log on to the Wi-Fi at Starbucks and pay your, pay your money, you'll be able to surf the web. But for free, you'll be able to log on to the Starbucks Wi-Fi and buy the songs that you're hearing right there at Starbucks. Okay, uh, and lastly, uh, there was a big price drop on the 8-gigabyte iPhone. It looks like they're no longer going to be making the 4-gigabyte iPhone, but the 8-gigabyte iPhone has a $200 price drop. It used to be $599, you can now buy it for $399. So a big price drop for those of you who are waiting for an iPhone for the price to come down a bit, now it has, and that's on the higher level, 8-gigabyte uh, uh, iPhone. So just to recoup, you've got new shuffles uh, in new colors, nothing else has changed. The new shorter, fatter Nano that plays a video in uh, four gigabyte and eight gigabyte capacities. You've got the iPod Classic, which is very similar to the old iPod, but now comes in 80 and 160 gigabyte uh, models. You've got the iPod Touch, which is like an iPhone without the phone, and that comes in eight gigabyte and 16 gigabyte models. You've got the new Wi-Fi iTunes Music Store. You've got the partnership with Apple, and you've got the price drop on the uh, old, oh, excuse me, on the eight gigabyte iPhone from five ninety nine to three ninety nine. And that's what happened at the uh, Apple announcement last uh, Wednesday. And uh, we got another segment coming right back up, so stay tuned. Hey, I'm Andy Walker. You just bought a new computer with Windows Vista on it? Or maybe you've got an old XP computer that you upgraded. Well, we've just created an amazing new DVD that'll teach you everything you need to know about the new operating system from Microsoft. It's called Getting Started with Windows Vista. In this DVD, there are three sections. One is out of the box. What do you need to do as soon as you start up Vista? Number two is Vista Essentials, things you need to know every day to make your computer experience amazing. Antivirus, security, all kinds of new features that Vista offers. And finally, geek tips and tricks, things you need to know that nobody else will have told you to make you a Vista guru. For more information, check out our website at gettingstartedvideo.com. And welcome back to Neophyte.tv, and it's uh, our pleasure for the second section today to welcome back to the studios of Rue Productions, my good friend, Andy Dillard. Andy, how are you? Good. How are you doing, Ben? Thank you for coming back once again. Your previous uh, segment was very highly rated. Well, thank you. Got a lot of good emails about that. It was and, a pleasure uh, to do that. Of course, we got a lot of emails about the where's Tiffany. <laughs> and, uh, what, so am equal. I not as tra attractive as Tiffany? Or? Uh, you're a beautiful man. <laughs> a beautiful <laughs> man. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at a set of speakers by Sirwin Vega. The Sirwin Vega CVHD 5.1 surround sound speakers. Correct. And just before you get into these speakers, uh, I want to explain to people who don't know what 5.1 means. You know, traditionally... You you have stereo speakers, right? Which is right. one speaker on the left and one speaker on the right. But when 5.1 surround sound, you have five small speakers, that's the five, and then you've got 0.1, which is the one big subwoofer. subwoofer. And the five speakers that you have are left and right, and then you've got a center channel for right. speech and dialogue on movies, and then you have left and right behind you as well. You have rear speakers. So one, two, three, four, five in the center, and then the point one is the subwoofer that delivers the earth-shattering bass right. that we all love so much. And in this case, that is more true than ever. Well, that's good. Now, the Sermon Vega, the, the, these are pretty high-end speakers. I was looking around, about 600 bucks, 700 bucks in that price range. Yeah. Um, re suggested retail is about $1,000. Right. But we've, we found them online from anywhere from uh, about 550 um, up to 1000 So. Right, right. Okay, so, uh, and I, I was looking online, I thought, thought I saw them about uh, $600. And what right. about shipping? Because let me tell you, these things are, how much do they weigh? I mean, it's, it, they come in a big box. It's, uh, there's, all, all uh, 5.1 speakers are, are in one big box. Right. And so shipping, um, 
I mean, I, you I, pick this box up. I mean, I was looking I, at this I box could. that came in, and it was. I could, and I'm I'm not the strongest massive. guy in the world, but I'm you know oh, big on. enough to big, big enough to pick it up. And it, but it's a it's a big box, so I would imagine shipping's going to cost you a little bit. Right, right. So you hook these up to your uh, what? Do you, now there's no amplifier in the box, right? Correct. The speakers the, are are just bare speakers, no amplification. Correct. A little bit about the speakers. The subwoofer, uh-huh. which is a 12-inch subwoofer, 12 250 inch. watts, is powered. So you don't need an amplifier for it. Uh, so there is power to the subwoofer. There is power to the subwoofer. The other uh, five speakers um, just run through my, my receiver that I have. Right. Um, I actually tried it on two different receivers. An older one um, that, uh, that I didn't have a digital hookup for. Right. And so it was a, a, a simulated surround sound. And, that's like uh, Dolby Pro Logic. Dolby Pro Logic, yeah. yeah. And so that's not real surround sound. That's taking a stereo signal and kind of analyzing it to make it like surround. To make it like surround. And that actually um, sounded pretty good, to tell you the truth. Yeah. But then when I got my digital cable and hooked right. it up to a, a, a newer receiver, um, the difference was amazing. Now, your receiver has to have the five different speaker outputs. Correct. Or six, right? Five and the subwoofer. It's got a subwoofer output, and then it's got left, right, center, and then it's got the rear as right. well. So if your receiver at home doesn't have those five speaker outputs, this would not be a system you'd want to use. Correct. Um, yeah, you've, you've got to have the, the proper hookup for it, um, meaning the, the, the speaker outputs. So. so now you are a movie lover. I you, love movies. Especially action, high adventure, Pirates Correct. of the Caribbean, yes. big soundtrack, John Williams yes. sound effects movies. What did you think of these speakers? I, you know, I love these speakers. Um, well, I'll get to the, the things I didn't like about them in a second, but the things I loved about them, the sound quality is amazing. So when Vega um, kind of fell off um, the consumer market for a while and really concentrated on car audio and Movie theater sound system. Real movie theater. Real movie theater. Home movie theater. Universal but... Studios, I think, is is who they um, were partnered up with. Huh. So they they really know what they're doing as far as movies go. Right. So when I hooked these things up and listened to watched the movie on them, it they were amazing. Amazing sound. Um, very crystal clear. Quiet parts were quiet. No hiss from the speakers at all. The loud parts were were clear as well, which sometimes when it gets loud, it gets kind of muffled. But these ones were were uh, crystal clear. Um, kind of in tribute to my dad, I, uh, I watched Top Gun first. Top on these Gun? Things. Was, that was the first movie my dad watched um, when Surround Sound first came out. Wow. So I watched it. That's your like, your like test movie. That was my test for movie. surround sound. That and and uh, and um, Star Wars Episode Three. The opening scene is a, a great battle scene. Now Episode Episode Three of the new one. I'm sorry. Yes. So it was oh, that, right. So that Sith. is the old one, right? Yeah. Episode Three is the it's the, the not the third original one, but the third, the third of the new one. Uh, yes. Really, Episode exactly. Three. Exactly. Right. All of you Star Wars fans know what we're talking about. And I've just totally blown any street <laughs> cred I had with any of those Star Wars people. Well, so. yeah. Anyways. I'm a Battlestar Galactica fan. What can I say? Go Starbuck. Yeah. Um, but anyways, the, the, the bass sound is, was amazing. Um, talk about the negatives just for a second. If you have a small room, yeah. you, you may not want these speakers. They, they sound great in a small room. I, have them in, I had them in a small room. I just recently moved them into a larger room to see what they sounded like. But they're big speakers. They, they the, physically take up physically, some size. Physically, the, the five, the, the two front, two rear, and the center are all identical speakers. So when Vega's theory on that is you, you get the, the most correct um, sound from they're identical all, they're speakers. Matched. Exactly. You don't have big ones in the front and small ones exactly. in the back. So they're big speakers. Right. They're, um, I believe, t- um, 22 and a half inches tall. Wow. Five inches wide, five inches deep. All right. of them are the same thing. So mounting them on the walls... Um, they take up a lot, a lot of space. Right. Um, if you if you like the small bows, you or may not Sony, like the, the look. Those Sony of, cube ones. Exactly. Yeah. You may not like the look of these. Right. I think the sound is better though. So if you actually have a, a room designated as a theater, this is the perfect set to get. All um, right. As far as price goes, you know, for at five hundred and fifty dollars, it's a steal. At a thousand, I think it's a good price. Um, so good. My brother listened to mine. And went out and bought a set. There you go. He got them on Amazon, I think, for five fifty. Wow. So, um, and they sound great. He has them actually mounted on the walls. Um, when Sir Vegas sent 
us, the, the speakers, right. they sent the stands as well. Another negative thing is the stands don't come with them. Um, oh, so the stands can, are extra. The stands are extra, and they can run anywhere from 280 to $435. Wow. So depending on where you get them. So if you... If you're not planning on mounting them to the wall, you're going to need the stands. It's going to be an, an additional cost. Um, but this, the stands were easy to put together. The speakers go on the stands very easily. They look super nice. They, they, they're really good-looking speakers. So I don't mind having them on the stands in, in this bigger room I have. Um, but if, if you're not into that, if you don't want them on stands and you want to mount them, they, they might be a little much on the wall. It, unless you have a room designated for that. How about a rating out of 10? Nine, easily, out of 10. Nine I, out of 10. I love these speakers. They're crystal clear. The bass is strong. It's adjustable. Um, and so I, the, the quality's the quality's great. Serwin Vega's done a good job. So that's nine out of 10 for the Serwin Vega CVHD 5.1 speaker system, which as long as you've got, as long as you don't mind the furniture size of them, correct, and and perhaps the price if you're if you don't mind spending with the stands, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars, could be. The ultimate speakers for your home system. Ultimate. I, I don't. I don't know how you could get a better set. Andy, thanks for coming down. All Appreciate right. it again. Thank you. And it's that's pleasure. all the time we have for today. But please check out the website www.neo-fight.tv. And uh, if you happen to have an extra thirty seconds, take a look at this. In today's fast-paced world, it's vitally important that young people develop a good understanding of how computers operate and how the internet works. LittleGeeks.org takes donated computers, refurbishes them, and then provides them to underprivileged kids at no charge. It's our goal at littlegeeks.org to make sure that no kids are left out of the digital revolution. To find out how you can help, please visit www.littlegeeks.org. Thanks a lot.